Hey, you all back here with another conversation from the Beyond the 31 Days. And today for the Minority Mental Health piece, we're going to be talking about family shame and mental health. This one is really important because of the fact that I know in minority communities, we have so many different ideas that roam around this, right? And it's been passed down generationally. What happens in this house stays in this house. If we share, then it's going to seem like our family is dysfunctional. This ideology keeps a lot of us from opening up and going to seek out help. So what I want to do today is free you from that, to let you know that just because you choose to share, it does not have to be a thing that brings shame to the family, right? And I think furthermore, if we're having a real honest conversation, we've got to be okay with the fact that sometimes our healing and the pursuit of it might bring discomfort to others, and that's okay. That doesn't mean that you need to continue to sit in this mental and emotional turmoil. You need to sit in hell and be tormented through your thoughts. I want you to know that sometimes it happens like this, but guess what? It's going to happen for your betterment. It might take time for your family to realize that, but at the end of the day, I would guarantee that they would rather see a healed and whole you than a you that is not with us anymore. So my encouragement today, we've got to start learning how to get over the shame when it comes to mental health, our families, and this idea that they are somehow dysfunctional. We all struggle. Some just hide it better than others. That's the message for today.